Hi folks, thanks very much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. My name is Bill O'Brien. Today we're going to get a good close-up look at the Leprechaun Class C Motorhome by Coachman. This is a terrific Class C Motorhome. We're going to look at some things inside and out. I want to apologize, it's a little windy outside. I hope the audio comes out okay. But uh, we got a lot of great things to talk about, so let's get right to it. I'm going to start on the outside here. You're going to see fiberglass walls. And actually a really key component of the Coachman Class C, there's no wood in these walls. These are built with the Asdell membrane. It's a membrane that is lighter than wood, yet stronger than wood. It's got a fiber to it. It's totally water resistant, and it will not allow any mold or mildew to take hold over the course of the life of the RV. A very advanced product. I think a lot of manufacturers are gonna start going to this. It's just a terrific product and Coachman's been using it for quite some time. The Leprechaun is made with a new PVC roof. It's really known for its durability, outstanding roof. Coming back down here, there's a real good storage box right here. It's got a magnetic backer. It goes in pretty deep. You can fit a lot of gear right in there. Right next to that right here is the outside entertainment center. You can pop that up. There's a little clip to hold the door right there. Put your lawn chair right here. You can sit down and watch the big game. And I want to show you this really neat picnic table that they've built in. Really love this. Great feature. Slide this right out. There's a couple of legs that come up. And I can just set these uh, about like so. And this table just folds right over. And now I'm ready for my nice outdoor picnic. Also, as we come around the corner here, you're going to see we have a propane quick connect right here. You can pull that hose out and that'll hook up to your barbecue grill right here. So you got your outside cookout, your picnic table, and you're good to go. So coming around the back of the coach, I just want to point out there's a 5,000 pound tow and hitch right here. That's all set up, good to go. The little door right here with a magnetic backer. That'll lead into the outside storage basement, which is really quite spacious over there. And of course you have your roof ladder the ladder is so that you can get up there every so often, put a visual inspection on your roof, make sure no branches came down, make sure the caulking is in good shape. It is a walkable roof. And also I want you to notice the backup camera right up top there. Two slide outs on the 260 DS, and you'll notice they come with the slide toppers and the nice Coachman graphics. Right here between the slide rooms is the outside shower. Outside shower is a great feature to have on any RV. If you're at the beach or something, you got some sand on your feet, you want to rinse off your feet, it's terrific. You want to give the dog a bath, whatever you want. You have hot and cold running water right outside the coach. Okay, so the Leprechaun is built on the Ford 450 chassis. A couple of things I want to point out real quick. Side view cameras, very helpful. When you're on the highway and you want to change lanes, you hit the turn signal. This camera right here is going to just show that entire left lane right next to you where you're trying to change lanes you got a nice monitor on the dashboard inside so you can see what you're doing the other thing is when you get to the campsite if you get in a tight spot these mirrors fold in on both sides make it nice and easy for you to get into a tight spot so something i really like to point out on the coachman class c motorhome is that the front seats pivot around like in some of the super high-end coaches it's not common to see that there's a little operation to it what you want to do is just reach down grab onto this yellow bar right here pull it towards yourself and you want to slide that seat toward the middle of the coach then you can just pivot it right around and now your chair is in a perfect spot if you want to have a couple people over and you want to sit down and enjoy the living area. So staying right here with the living area in the Class C, you're going to see a nice couch over here. You can see three people across. There's actually three seat belts on there as well. And this is what we call a jackknife sofa. This is going to go down just for in case you have an emergency sleepover. Somebody can uh, sleep right there. Real easy to put down. You just snap it right back up. You're also going to see three nice storage boxes right up top here. Again, storage being key in the Class C motorhome. Another thing I really like about the Leprechaun, sliding windows. Open that window, you can open the other one over there, get a nice cross breeze going. Ventilation is so very important in the Class C motorhome. Moving along up above the cockpit, I want to show you the sleepover bunk area. Very spacious, you can fit two adults up there. 
we're gonna fold this cushion down real easy. And again, a nice big sleeping area. There's also a cargo net here. If you wanna just store some gear up there, you can strap this net up and everything will be safe right there. Our color television is on a bracket. So I can swing that right out. Anybody sitting at the luncheonette or on the jackknife sofa can watch that quite easily. If you can come up front here and see the cluster a little bit, this is the regular Ford 450 chassis. Okay, it's a V10 gasoline engine, 6.8 liter. All the cluster is real easy to read, just like your car. Park, reverse, drive, no special uh, knowledge required. Everybody can drive it. There's a good monitor on the dashboard right there for your side view cameras and for your backup camera. And of course you have your AM, FM stereo, your fan, uh, chassis air conditioner as well and just a real nice coach right up front. So you're gonna see right here to the back of the living area, we have a nice little corner kitchen. Very convenient. I have a six cubic foot camping refrigerator here that's gonna operate on propane or electric. Whatever you want is an automatic setting. You can put it on automatic and forget about it. Big pantry right next to the fridge. That's key for storage, foodstuffs, and so forth. And a nice storage box underneath. Right here you have all the regular RV goodies, nice microwave convection oven. There's a three burner gas cooktop right here, and this glass cover will fold back to make a nice backsplash. In addition, there's a real tile backsplash, goes up about three and a half inches all the way around the counter. And then you also have a regular oven right there. The countertops are what we call solid surface countertops. There's no extra parts to them. They're all molded, real solid, good material, lightweight but strong. Nice sink cover right here. And you have a nice deep basin right here. You also have the pull down sprayer for doing the dishes. Best of all, what I like is a little excess counter space. When you're preparing the food, you need a little extra room, pop that right up, you're in business. Also, I can pick this up right here. I have two 110 outlets and a USB port right there. If I'm not using that, I'm just gonna sink it and get rid of it. One more nice feature about the little corner kitchen here are these storage boxes right here. I really like this. There's so many things you can do with this. And for those of you that do the cooking in the RV, you know what I'm talking about. Four really good storage trays, and they go right in like so. Very helpful in the kitchen. Coming back in the coach, you're gonna see a secondary control panel right here. This panel, you're gonna be able to read your tanks, your levels, you know, third full, two thirds, what have you. That's for the uh, fresh water, gray water, and black water tanks. You also have your generator start right there and your slide room. Of course, also there's a monitor right here for your generator. That'll count the uh, hours that you put on the generator. And then as we head back toward the bedroom, just more storage. Again, a lot of storage, big wardrobe right there, and another box right here. Plenty of storage in the Coachman 260. Right here at the foot of the bed is the entrance to the bathroom. Simple bathroom, you know, basin, mirror, toilet, shower with a real glass door, and there's a good skylight right at the top for ventilation. The other thing that's really unique to the Coachman is this little extra shelf that they put in here. It recedes into the storage box and you can just slide it out, comes over across the top of the toilet, and it gives you a lot of extra space for uh, toiletries and so forth. Okay, so I'm in the bedroom now. You got an 80 inch queen bed right here. It's in the slide out. The slide is out right now. You have a nice furry on color TV right here. We also have a fantastic fan with a skylight right above the bed for ventilation. When the slide room comes in, you're gonna just fold up this mattress like so. There's a little perforation in the bottom. That'll fold up and the room will slide right in, you know, about up to here. Little storage box right here in the corner that comes in handy. You also have electric 110 outlets right here. And you also have 110 and a USB port right up there on that side of the bed. And also you're going to notice there's a little night table for each person. If you want to put down your reading glasses and your book or your cell phone or whatever, you have a little storage room right there. And a nice cushion headboard up front. Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining me today as we went around the Leprechaun Class C Motorhome 260DS by Coachman. Hope you learned a few things. My name's Bill O'Brien. Again, I'm coming to you today from the Campers Inn RV store in Union, Connecticut. We're at Exit 74, Interstate 84, 
in the quiet corner, the northeast corner of this great state of Connecticut. And I want you to come down here. You can ask for Bill. I'll give you a nice road test. Come on down, get inside the leprechaun here, sit on the furniture, feel it, take a road test, see what it's all about, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you. Thanks again, folks.